Hey everybody, it's Michelle with That Wreath Lady. Um, I'm having a few little technical difficulties. My little stand for my phone keeps falling off. <laughs> so if there is a crash in the middle of this, don't worry, I'll pick it up. So what we're gonna do today is, again, I said that I'm Michelle with That Wreath Lady, and I'm helping you to unlock your creativity to bring joy to your life, your home, and your pocketbook. So we are going to learn how to flock a wreath, and I have a few little other things over here that we are going to try to flock. Two of them I've done before, one I have, two I have not. So it's going to be a trial and error on those. I'd rather do it for you to see if it works than you going out and trying to do it yourself and wasting money. So let me get this situated, and then I'll show you everything, and I'll show you, um, the supplies that you need. So let me get this straightened up and then we'll get started. Make sure you can see this. I had to move this around because the sun was in the way. There we go. And don't tell my husband I'm doing this on the deck because he'll get really, really upset. So hold on just a second. I'm back. Let me get my spray stuff. Did you miss me? All right, let me show you what I'm using first because this looks a little, this looks a little wild. This, I'll show you what I'm using on my stand. Of course, I cut this huge piece of cardboard and put it on here so that I wouldn't get stuff all over the place. But I'm going to show you what it's hanging on. You can see that this is just a wooden wreath stand and I actually bought it from um, Ladybug Wreaths and it is amazing. Um, it's very helpful because I have a really bad back. So I like to stand up when I'm making my wreath. So what I did, it's got a little peg. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a little peg right here and different little holes already drilled in. You can just put the peg in there and hang your wreath on. So this is a box that I cut up and I just put a little slit in it. So we're gonna put it back in the wreath stand. First, I want to tell you that when you want to do this, please do it outside. Um, if you're doing it in a garage or a shed, make sure that you have ventilation and, or the door open or something. You do not want to do this inside. It'll make you sick, it'll give you a headache, um, and it'll stink up your house. So just do this outside. This is one of the great, not great fun, but this is one of the evergreen wreaths. I bought this at Michael's. Hold on, so I'm just done. I bought this at Michael's when they were having their doorbuster sale. Got this for $2.99. $2.99, so great deal. So when you get this, you want to make sure that you fluff it because when it comes, it comes all smushed. So also, you want to fluff it because when we start to flock this, you're going to want the branches to be wide and open. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang this right here. Can you all see that? Good. Do I need to turn, turn it a little more, bring it closer? Let me turn it just a little bit. Okay. So that's the first supply, which, which was just a $2.99 very cheap wreath at Michael's. Now you can leave it like this and decorate it the way you want, but we are going to jazz it up just a little bit today. So the first thing is you need a can of white spray paint. Mine is white gloss, but you can also use the mat. Got this at, I believe at Michael's, it was $6.99, but I used a 50% off coupon. Um, 
So never, ever, and I've said this before, never, ever, 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 ever buy anything without a coupon. This is just Krylon. You can use the mat too. So this is just white spray paint. And this is the neat thing. This is called wall texture. If you have ever seen um, like the popcorn wreaths, popcorn wreaths, the popcorn ceilings, um, this is what we're going to use today. I got this at Lowe's, but you can get it at any hardware store. Um, and it is fantastic. Uh, let's see. What you want to make sure is when you're using, it's called wall texture. When you're using this, you want to shake it up for a good minute. If you don't, this is what it'll look like, which is not pretty. So we're gonna shake this up real good. And sorry about the way I look. Another thing you wanna do is to make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't mind to get paint on or anything like that. So this is my wreath making clothes, um, my flocking clothes, and my flocking hair. So I've got my hair pulled back. So we're just shaking, and again, if you've just joined us, I'm Michelle with that wreath lady, and we are going to learn how to flock a wreath, and I have a few other things that I have flocked before, and we're going to flock again today, um, and two things that I have never flocked before, and we're going to try it out. So at that wreath lady, I am here to help you unlock your creativity, to bring joy to your life, your home, and to your pocketbook. So I think I've shook it enough. Also, you want to shake your paint up really good. And when you're also doing this outside, um, like I said, don't tell my husband I'm doing this on the back deck. But you want to make sure that you cover everything because this will spray and it'll go in different places. So, all right. First, if I can get this off, first we are going to use the white spray paint, okay? We have our wreath, $2.99 from Michael's Doorbuster, and our, our white paint. So, you can't save me from over here. So, peek -a this is my halo. What we're gonna do is we are going to spray the wreath white, um, just in circular motions. You don't want to get it really, really close to the wreath because then you're gonna get gobs and gobs and gobs of paint. I'm gonna back there up here because you can't see me. So, about 12 inches or so from the wreath. And we're just gonna start to paint. And I'm just pumping it right now to kind of get, get it covered. You, you wanna make sure you do the inside and the outside of the wreath. And as you can see, it goes everywhere. So that's why you need to make sure. Underneath the wreath and to the side of the wreath. Now I'm going, shoo Now I'm going back on the other side to make sure I get this side of the wreath. And again, I'm just doing a little pumping motion. It's really cold out here. It's probably like 50 degrees. And Tuesday, it's supposed to be 70 degrees here. Is that not crazy? You can do this as heavy as you want or as light as you want. I'm just going through it and just kind of giving it a light coating of the white spray paint. We'll go over the other side. I'm done with the spray paint. I'll show you how it looks. As you can see, it's just got that little bit of white. Think, See how it's green here? I think I'm gonna do a little bit more on the side there. You don't have to spray paint the back unless you want to. Um, I'm not going to. 
Then you can look around the wreath and see if there's some places that you missed or that you need to go back through. I think that looks good. So I went back through and did a little touch up. And here's what it looks like so far. Now you don't have to wait until this dries to use this. Um, again, this is the wall texture. This will not yellow and it doesn't peel. So this is what is great for this. You can also, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a knob on the back right here and you can turn that knob to make it a fine spray or really thick spray. I like to do the fine because I like to be in control. I have control issues. So I like to be in control of how much of this gets sprayed on my wreath. So again, you need to shake this really good because if you don't, it's gonna turn out like this and it's not pretty. So shake, shake, shake. If you're just joining me, I am that wreath lady and I help you unlock your creativity to bring joy to your life, your home, and to your pocketbook. This is a wreath I bought at Doorbusters, Doorbusters, at Michael's during the Doorbuster sale. So, when you use this, you don't, just like the spray paint, you don't want to be right up on it because it is going to clump and it's not going to look pretty at all. So, my suggestion is, is to stand about 12 to 16 inches away from it and we're going to pump it just like we did the spray paint and once i do this i'll hold it up to you and show you i'm going to be out of the picture but i'll try to still talk um, if you're joining us why don't you let me know while i'm flocking the wreath where you're at where you're located at and i will be answering questions here at the end of it. so here we go flocking Well, maybe. And I'm just pumping to get a good coat. Make sure you do the inside as well. Again, make sure you do the inside and the outside. Now, I want it heavier, so hello everybody. I want to do it a little bit heavier, so I'm going to flock it just a little bit more. I'm from Ohio, Sandy. What part of Ohio are you from? I like to get the tips really good and flocky. That is a horrible word. Is that not a horrible word? So now I'm getting a little bit closer to it. I started out at 12 inches. Now I'm gonna get a little bit closer to it because I want a really good clumpy look on the wreath. And you will get this all over you. So that's why you need to wear clothes that you're not worried about getting all nasty. Again, I'm just using texture, wall texture paint. Um, hey, Brookville, close to Dayton. I'm from Proctorville, so. Um, how about them Buckeyes? That was an awesome game, wasn't it? Youngstown, all right, Marilyn, awesome. I'm gonna go to the other side, and now we're gonna flock the other side. And once you get it really good, you can actually stop pumping and actually do spray. And if you want it to be heavy, just put it closer and just actually pump on the edges. And you'll know when you're running out of flocking because it'll make 
a strange noise. So let me go in and get one more can. Again, what we used first was just regular old white spray paint. Regular old white spray, spray, spray paint. And now, here's a new can, so let me show you. Where is Proctorville? Proctorville is around the most southern tip of Ohio. It is the tip where um, West Virginia in Kentucky and Ohio meets. If you've ever heard of Marshall University or you saw the movie We Are Marshall, Marshall University is right across the river from us and that's exactly where I went to school. So go herd. Again, I took, there's a little piece on here. I guess I should show you. Little piece that was on here and I just tore it off. You tell them, Tina and you want to shake. If not, remember it looks nasty. So I'm shaking. And when you have a new can of this, you want to test it on your cardboard to make sure it is where you want it to go. There we go. All right, we're going to flock some more. Inside the reef. All right. Can you see the mess? Can you see the mess on my hands? And it gets a little messy too. So after you use it, you want to make sure that you wipe it off. So now I'm going to get this all over my hands. Now, can you see how pretty and flocked this is? Ooh, that's a good good picture. Look at that right there. Now you're going to want to let this dry so you can, I'm, I'm just going to lay it over to the side here, but you want to let this dry before you take it in the house because um, it'll still stink. So I'm going to go lay this over here and then we are going to flock some um, little branches. So I'll show you that too. I, <laughs> I know a lot of people don't know what flocking is, so this is great and it saves you money. So let me get the other thing. Okay. These are two branches. I got this one at Hobby Lobby for $2.99 and of course it was 50% off in the Christmas. So you can see that. This was another little branch that I got. I love, 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 love this branch. It was $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. And again, 50% off love. So, we're going to do this one first. Take the price tag off. Don't be a mini pearl. Again, we are going to lightly just do some white spray paint, okay? And I'm gonna hold it up here so you can see it. I do the backs of these as well, because you never know how it's gonna turn in your reef. Get the tips real good. Make sure you get all sides. And this is what it looks like. Just a little spray paint. Can you see the spray paint very good? There you go. And now we're gonna flog it. Again, shake this up. It's just wall texture. If you're just joining me, I am that wreath lady, also known as Michelle. And I'm here to help you unlock your creativity, 
to bring joy to your life, your home, and your pocketbook. Shake it real good. All right. Now we're going to flock. You want to get the ends really good. And again, I do the back as well. And you can do this as heavy or as light as you want. And again, look at my hands. So you can see how it's got the little popcorn -y things on it and it looks just like snow. Isn't that awesome? If you were to buy this already flocked, you would probably be paying six or seven dollars for this. So I got this for $2.99, 50% off, and I have turned it into something fantastic. Love. Now we're going to do the other branch. Again, you want to let this dry a little while. Here's the other branch, $3.99 at whoops, Hobby Lobby, 50% off. Take off the price tag. Did I tell you it was cold here? Oh, my ears are freezing. All right, spray paint. Whoops, wrong way. And I do this while it's already on the bush, and then I cut it off later. Again, get all sides. Okay. Here's what it looks like. And now we're going to flock. Whoops. Now I like to get the edges really good. And it's getting a little stopped up, so that's why you should clean it off every now and then. But I'm not going to until we start something else. Okay. And here is it flocked. And that's a neat part right there. You can see the tips. And it's dripping. <laughs> Isn't that neat? So we're going to let that dry, and now we're going to do something I've never done before. So let's see if it works. I know you probably have all seen the flocked pine cones. Now again, I've never done this before, so we will see if it is a wow or a not so wow. So again, I'm going to do spray paint first. And on this one, you don't have to get inside of it. Ooh, I got real close there, didn't I? You don't have to get inside of it. Just the edges. And you see, you can see how that looks. Okay. Now we're going to see if this thing flops. a little clumpy. But it gets 
like that, just shake it some more. Let's see. I kind of like how it turned out, but I'm not really sure. I would probably put a heavier coat of the flocking on it. And with this, I think you could also get some of the, um, the glitter snow, and you could probably sprinkle that on there as well. And actually, I have some. So let me go get some and see what that looks like. This is winter snow, and it's kind of, is it glittery? It's a little bit glittery, so we're going to open it up a little bit and see what it looks like. I'm probably going to have this all over my hands. So I'm just, if this is still wet, so I'm just taking a little bit. Oh, how pretty is that? Oh my goodness. Wowza. A little bit more. Again, this is just, oh wow, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty. And then I'm just shaking the excess off. I hope you can see this because this is gorgeous. Can you see how that looks? Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Oh, who knew? Um, so I used spray paint, then I did the flocking, and then while the flocking was still wet, I added some winter snow and I just took my hand down it because you don't want to dump it. And I just took my hand down there and just sprinkled it. And that looks, that looks marvelous. And you could probably even do this if you want a little texture, more texture to your wreath or the little sprays that we did. I bet you you could do the same thing with that. Is that not gorgeous? Love. All right. Now the second thing I've not done. Let's try a grapevine wreath. I got this grapevine wreath in bulk at, I believe it was Sims Pottery. Sims Pottery, you have to have a tax ID in order to get the stuff in bulk, but you could also get these at Hobby Lobby or at Michael's, and let me tell you a little trick. These never go on sale, never. So what I do is I always use a coupon, and then I take my friends and my family to Hobby Lobby or Michael's, and I each give them a coupon. And I make them go through the register and pay for it individually so that I get everything for a discount. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to spray paint it white first. Shake up your spray paint. Let's hope this turns out. Never done this before. Shoot. And be careful. You can trip over things. If you're just joining me, I am Michelle known as that wreath lady and I am here to help you unlock your creativity to bring joy to your life your home and to your pocketbook and one thing about the grapevine wreath don't break off these little spriggly things because I think it gives it character to be perfectly honest with you Make sure you get the outside and the inside. And again, if you know my husband, do not tell him I'm doing this out on the deck. He will be very upset. All right, I think that's good. 
Now we're going to do the flocking. It's the wall texture paint. I'm going to shake it up again because it was getting a little clumpy a minute ago. Let's see how this works. So, well, it's getting too clumpy on me. So this is what we're going to do. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to spray paint this a little bit more to get it good and wet. And then we're going to sprinkle the winter snow on it. Now I'm going in for the winter snow as my spray paint rolls off. Now I'm doing this kind of heavy. You probably could also spray this with um, spray adhesive and get it good and wet and then add this to it. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking little handfuls of the winter snow and it's going everywhere just like snow. So I'm going to have to sweep here in just a second. Do it up on the top. Oh my, this is looking pretty too, everybody. An easier way to do this would probably be to lay it on the ground. <laughs> but like I said, this is my first time ever trying to do this. Actually, I am going to lay it on the ground for a second. This way, you can, yeah, you can get it heavier. Okay. And then you want to shake off the excess. And I hope you can see this, but look how pretty that is. Can you see the snow and stuff on it? There, that's a good picture. So, grapevine wreath, I can probably perfect that a little more. The flocked snow cone, snow cone, pine cone, remember I sprayed it with spray paint and then my flocking spray kind of ran out. So I added the, um, the snow to it so look how pretty I'm in love with that look at that that is gorgeous then and the wreath is still wet but here's the flocked Christmas wreath spray paint and then the texture wall paint see that you you can see the little snow pieces right there and then we did the bushes. Again, spray paint and then the texture. And again, you could probably add the, the winter snow to all of this. So, and the end result of my hands. So I hope you've enjoyed this live tutorial um i really like how everything turned out except for maybe this but i am going to perfect that a little more 
again, I'm that wreath lady, and I help you unlock your creativity to bring joy to your life, your home, and to your pocketbook. So I hope that you go out and you buy the stuff on sale and you try to flock it. And I would love to see pictures of how it turned out. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And now it's time to go out and be crafty, crafty, crafty. Bye, everybody.